All right, so I just installed the uh, Vapor Trail Tech um, speedometer and in my 450R, and what we'll do is we'll kind of bang around the machine, and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I couldn't install it on top of the key pod because there wasn't enough room with the two brackets to come up. So as I, what I did for now is I kind of kicked it over to the side, and that allows me to see how fast I'm going and kind of keep an eye on things um, while I'm driving. But um, it's pretty close to the middle, so driving around it doesn't seem too bad. But um, what this does is it allows you to monitor your speed, your RPMs, uh, the temperature outside. Um, I installed the thermostat that came with the kit, so it install it monitors the engine temps as well. Uh, there's a couple of lights up here. One is like a warning light in case the um, engine starts to get too hot. Uh, it also has like distance, um, the RPMs. You can kind of toggle back and forth through there, and uh, it'll keep track of you know how many miles are on the machine for you. Um, you know the speed that you're going. There's a clock right here. Uh, it tells the outside temp. You can toggle between the outside temp and um, the radiator temperature. And when installing this, you have to put a sensor for the um, speedometer up front on the 450R. Uh, it consists of drilling a little hole like right under here. So we can hook up the sensor. It comes with a self-tapping screw. Uh, what you have to do is you have to take the wheel off take the caliper off, drill the hole, um, you got to take a bolt out of the brake rotor, it comes with a magnetic bolt, so you replace one of the bolts with a magnetic one, and every time the wheel comes around, um, the sensor right over here that you install um, counts it, and it knows how, how fast you're going. The one thing that you need to do, it uh, comes with a manual, and it's not hard to do, um, we have to measure, once you have that all hooked up, the sensor for the miles per hour, uh, more than likely it'll be off. So what you need to do, and the manual that comes with it, um, tells you to measure the height of your tire, mine was 20 inches, um, convert it to millimeters, which I found the conversion um, tool online. So I converted it, I think it was 508 millimeters. And you've got to times that number by 3.14. Once you get that number, you can plug it in to the uh, pod over here. Um, again, the owner's manual will walk you all through that. You enter in the number that you get from that uh, formula. And then it should be on the money with um, as far as how fast you're going, you know, the tire ratio. Uh, what I had done is I duct taped my cell phone to the uh, gas tank. And then I took a ride around with it to make sure that the um, GPS miles were the same as the speedometer miles and everything matched up exactly once I got the tire size and converted everything and punched everything into the computer. So that's hooking up the speedometer. Um, what I did too is I got power from the battery. So you have to run, let's see if I can do this one hand, one wire back here. And, oh, it's not there, I keep forgetting. Uh, here's the battery under the fender, the left rear fender. So I ran a positive and a negative wire into there to run power to the unit. So there's that one, there's four connections. There's tack, power, speedometer, and then the ignition for the RPMs. Um, the way the ignition gets hooked up is that you take the ignition wire, you wrap it around the spark plug coil, five times and then you need to ground it. I grounded mine to this bolt right here. So that's all that is that consists of hooking that up. Um, the temperature to monitor radiator temp, if it's liquid cooled, your 450 out will be. Uh, you've got to cut the radiator hose and they provide like a plastic ABS uh, sensor to put in line. Um, it was a pain getting the hoses to go over that but it fits really really snug. I found it easier to take the left front fender off. It takes all of about three to five minutes. Uh, there's a bolt here, a bolt here, a bolt here, and it basically just pulls off. You need to remove the hood here too, and there's a pull pin that you need to pull up. You can take the whole fender off, and then you can easily drain the radiator, cut the hose, 
and uh, put the sensor in line. But let me start it up and I'll show you what it looks like and kind of go through some of the motions. the lights up too so it gets dark out if you're riding at night this will illuminate which is pretty cool and after like 20 minutes it'll go to sleep so once you put it away in the shed of the garage wherever you store it it'll go to sleep after 20 minutes and all the power will kind of shut down and uh, it'll wake up again once you start the four wheeler or if you move it forward so um this wasn't that bad to install i think the biggest pain to installing it was um putting the temp sensor in the radiator hose that fought me a little bit but if you just take your time it'll go in pretty easily and um, if you have any questions about it definitely leave a comment i'll reply back to it but i uh, hope you like the video and subscribe to the channel